Hi guys, how are you guys doing? No, oh, sorry. In the real Australian way, you say good day, mate. How are you doing today? How was your day? I hope you had a very good day. You know, so welcome to my channel. My name is Blessing Amoni, and you're welcome to Well in the Well. So October and yes, I'm especially happy because I don't know. I do not know but guys Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is blessing on money and you're welcome to well in the well So welcome back guys. I have been in my yes, I know I know blame it on me Blame it on the fact that I'm still trying to adjust to the new society that I have found myself happily so today guys is october 1st and guess what guys it's my country's independence day yes i am a nigerian just in case you do not know and no don't judge me by the stereotypes of what you think a nigerian is i am a nigerian and a good one at that i love my country guys no matter the bad news in the media it's not just like that they have the good things about nigeria that you never hear about and that's not what's gonna be today so my prayer for nigeria as a whole as we celebrate our people tonight independent i guess is that god will grant the nigerians all of us wisdom to know where to put our nation to in the next century i'll be sorry for the next decade decade is 10 years i think yeah, that God will help us so that we can know where we are moving to. Because my channel, oh sorry, today's topic is not about Nigeria. So, good day, mate. I am going to be talking to you about Strayer slangs. What's she talking about? Actually, I'm trying to tell you that I'm going to be talking about slangs in Australia. Oh, yes. It's an English-speaking country. Australians love to have conversation, but there is just one problem. And what is that? They don't like long chat. They want to have a conversation, but they just want this in, you know, shutting everything. So, you know, their tip is to shut in every word that they can think about and frustrate you thinking that they are speaking English. And you know the annoying part is you're talking to me in slang. I'm not an Australian and I'm trying to get you. You understand like, um, okay, you, you went to resolve and you had ding ding with your mate. Okay. I understand mate, your party, your friend. And, um, 
what is din 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 is, is that the name of a petting place or thing i don't understand okay you mean dinner oh okay and we saw is 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 that a name of a restaurant or oh, i mean rsl okay now i understand but you know what they are not they don't have time to come and explain what they are trying to tell you exactly because they don't have time for that or they just want you if you don't pick it and you're like um okay never mind never mind that thing vexed me like if me i'm speaking pigeon to you like you 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 did not ma are you you did okay when i say you know well something they worry for your head sorry that's even english something they worry your head and i'm speaking conk pigeon like the real worry picking will you understand no so why are you telling me not to worry why are you talking to me when you know you don't want me to understand what you're saying okay i cannot afford to be angry we are going to be having this conversation as you can see this brush here i want to be painting my face as i am talking to you but this is the disclaimer i um i am how did she send the sound i am not a makeup artist i hardly paint my face i am just doing this so that it will not be a normal sit down and talk but we can have a chatty conversation and you know paint my face while we are talking by the way i am not going anywhere i'm just using this one to while away time after we are done i will as usual wipe away my face so at the end of the video please let me know how i did in terms of my makeup is it good is it ugly is it terrible is it manageable you understand you know comment down below at the end of the video so as i was saying when i first came to australia and i started meeting with people in my first job because while you're in school you hardly meet people that are australian my school was filled with people that were um from other na um nationality yeah. yeah they were filled with people from other country so a lot of time you still hear normal english well when i got my first job as a cleaner and i was opportune to work with some australian i started hearing some languages that i don't know whether it's english they are speaking or they are speaking i don't understand they say some words and i'm wondering whether that one is another separate um, vocabulary or is normal english but fortunately for me or so sad for me they were speaking australian slang let's just use that word so guys you hear different things like good day mate that one is normal and you hear good day mate they're just saying good day mate like are we mate are we mate answer you're not mate so respect me but everybody is mate in fact your grandfather is your mate so it's good day mate that's good day friend good day party me good day guy good day alpha you understand it's just a means of saying alpha that's what they mean by good day so yeah love you and then when they want to say um there's a guy he came to work one day and i'm like oh we're supposed to clean very early in the morning and this guy was dragging the job so i walked up to him and i'm like are you okay mike and he said oh yeah i'm okay yesterday i went to play footy and my leg hurt so bad i i didn't even know how i'm gonna could you help me with some of my task and i'm like you went to play footy like can you footy you said football oh sorry i've been in bedding so you went to play football so when they say food footy or foodie no it's not foodie it's footy that's football when they say tennis ball it's tenno are you listening so one day i went to woolies to get some food stuff and then i had a guy a baby shouting mom can i have some beaky can i have some beaky he's not a baby actually it's that's the australian way of pronouncing biscuit they say biki like b-i-w-c-y so when they say oh can i have some chucky that's can i have some chocolate so when the biscuit is is a particular type of biscuit that have chocolate so yeah can i have some chucky biki do you understand are you feeling me okay wait 
let me do this one now another thing that you will hear australians say is the popular restaurant like oh i'm going to mcdonald's to have some breakfast yeah oh i'm going to Macca's. can you stop at market so i can get my breaking can you stop at market so i can get my dindings that's can you stop at mcdonald's so that i can get my breakfast that's breaking or can you stop at mcdonald's so that i can get my dinner that's ding dings so when you hear ding dings they are saying it's not the name of a person hanima that's the hr thing yeah it's not the name of a person neither is it the name of an animal or a place or thing it's the name of dinner next thing on the last thing is you are not happy and you ask me blessing are you okay trying with you you look so sad oh my i'm not happy i'm just so devil it was too long devil is that is is it devil is it like devil means i am devastated so yeah now let us go and do my eyeshadow but wait this thing looks funny let me try to see if i can make it look all right Okay, so after you have primed your face, what's the next thing? You apply your eye shadow. And I hear you say eye shadow. So, sorry, I'm not going to be talking about the names of the eye shadow because I bought them from the chemist or somewhere like that. Yeah, so, so I found what I'm looking for. Which color am I going to use to paint? my eyes i don't know but i think i'm just gonna what's gonna is nigerians we are so amazing we speak british and american english joining together actually i'm going to be using um i don't know any color anything you see on my face just take it like that it will be when the one say, oh, good afternoon, they tell you, have a mite. Have a, have a mite. That's good afternoon, mite. You already know what mite is now. So when you hear, good afternoon, mite, or... Am I going to be seeing you tomorrow? Oh, defo, defo. Definitely, that's what it's saying. Very annoying, but you got to learn. Or else they won't talk to you they'll see you as an alien and you don't want to be seen like that you understand so i'm going to be applying what am i saying i'm going to be applying i see if i know what i'm doing purple Shooting Jerome, is it making sense? Don't worry, I know I look like a masquerade, but it will get better. So, another one is when um you're talking and you're like, Oh, have you had breaky? That one is single, they're asking, Have you had breakfast? So you can answer, Yes or no, I've not had breaky. So we know of some shops and one day I'm like why don't Salvation Army people wear uniform here? Because in Nigeria they used to wear uniform and then the Australian was looking at me like Salvation Army like oh you mean the Salvos Okay yes the Salvos So Salvation Army is Salvos um when they tell you oh i'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow oh see you tomorrow let's see you tomorrow that's what you mean so we are going to the bowlers tonight 
Bolos is bowling club. Do you understand how I am communicating? Hold on. Okay, so summer is coming and I cannot wait to um, go to the beach because I just got some new cozy. I just got some new swimsuit. So when you hear cozy, it means swimsuit. That's Australian, you know, way of saying they are going to the swimming. Sorry, they are going with their swimsuit. So I have done abracadabra on my eye shadow. Now I'm gonna line my eyes. I think they usually start at this side of the eyes. Ah, follow by. Hmm. Oh, barely. I got it. Yeah, let me do the other one. I hope I got it too. It's not exactly the same, but it's not bad. Okay. So, that's about some slangs. Another one is, for instance, when they want to go to the gas station, you hear, oh, I would like to stop at the several to get some petrol. So several is gas station or petrol station. And besides, they don't say gas here. When you say, I need to get gas for my car, that's an American thing. And don't be surprised when someone parked beside you because you ask for gas. That's gas. So actually, it's a petrol station. So that's um, going to the several. Yeah, several is um service station. That's what they call their petrol station. So, what's the next thing they do now after the part eyeshadow? Okay, I think they will now start putting foundation on their face. Foundation, where are you? Okay, I found it. I think it's that one. I can show you maybe K. Can you see it? Maybe K foundation. So, okay, so that's about the foundation. Next thing is if you want to grab a bottle of beer from the bottle shop, you say, Oh, I'd like to get some bottle of beer from the bottle O. Bottle O is bottle shop, that's where the sale. Alcohol. So, the next thing we are going to learn is days of the week. But before days of the week, we would contour and highlight. If you people laugh at my makeup, <laughs> you people will sleep at night. So, you better don't laugh at my makeup. Okay. Which one is contour? Okay, they said this is highlight and this is bronze. This is contour. So, you highlight and contour. So, let us learn the days of the week in the Australian slang. Monday we go to school, Tuesday we go to school, Wednesday we go to school, Thursday we go to school, Friday we go to school, Saturday we sit at home and Sunday we go to church, we go, we go, we go, 
Mm-hmm. So Monday is Monday. Did you hear me? When you hear Monday, that's Monday. Tuesday is Tuesday. So Tuesday is Tuesday. Like this. And then I think she's trying it like this. And this one like this. And then they come to the side of the nose. Come to the side of the nose. Mm -hmm. Choose the Wednesday is Wednesday. Thursday is Thursday. Fry as in dodo. D is Friday. Then sat D. Sat D. Sat at home is Saturday. Sun and D is Sunday. I hope you have learned that one. So, so I think the next thing they used to do is to now bake the the ice they usually bake it up in the oven so now we are going to place it in the oven and i'll be using this one to place it in the oven so if i disappoint you guys after this one maybe i'll go to makeup school Donate money into my GoFundMe account so that I can go to makeup school to go and learn it. okay <laughs> so guys i hope i have been able to do some abracadabra on my face honestly this is not good but there's room for improvement please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i hope i've been able to teach you some things about australian slang at least if you did not learn anything you learned the days of the week monday tuesday tuesday wednesday thursday Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's part of something to learn in the Australian slang. Until I see you next time, please don't forget to like, share this video, and um, leave comments down below. Tell me what you think about my makeup that looks like a mask curate. And um, <laughs> I'm happy to learn how to do proper makeup and improve. But until then, remember that I love you, and no matter what's going on in your life, guy. It is well, even in the world. So far, God is there. Until I see you next time, stay blessed. Love ya. Bye.